All right, welcome back to PC Building Simulator. Today is update day, and it's an exciting update for multiple reasons. Uh, so we're on version 1.13. And with this update, we've got, of course got a bunch of new parts, which we're gonna go through all of that in this video. But the other big thing that we're not really gonna go through in this video, but I did in a different video, so go check that out, is the IT expansion is new. Uh, you might remember when it was in beta testing before, uh, I beta tested it for a while, did a couple of videos of it then. We knew it was coming. We thought it'd be, you know, 15 bucks, 20 bucks, something like that. It is free. The IT expansion is free to anyone who owns the base, base game. Um, so if you own the base game, if you got it on Epic Games for free, be sure to update your game on PC and play the IT expansion because that's free and there's no risk at all. So enjoy it. Uh, and if you want to see what the IT expansion is like and check that out, again, check out my other video because I started playing through it and we looked at some of the missions and uh, whatnot and then uh, compared it kind of how it was in the, the beta when we were back testing it a few months ago. So um, that's the big exciting IT expansion. But let's get into the new parts in the game, which you'll see already, of course, they love to highlight the new parts on the splash screen. There's some really exciting parts here, and I, I want to—I have—I want to preface: I have not looked at any of this yet, so we are going to discover it together because I think it's more fun. But this case in particular is going to be very interesting, uh, and we've also got lots of new parts, including we've got new memory, we've got new motherboards, we've got—we've uh, got new graphics cards. Again, we've got we've got cases cases in addition to this as well. I always love cases. I love me some cases. We've got new monitors. We've got a water cool GPU case fan. So let's go through all of it. Let's jump into free build and let's take a look. Okay, well, uh, we loaded into the Fractal Design Workshop and I've got a blue screen on this computer. I have no idea why, because I didn't have that before. I, I swear that wasn't that was not there before. I don't know why that's there. I don't know what happened. It's probably gonna blue screen again, maybe. Okay, cool. That's awesome. What? <laughs> what? Okay. Anyway, let's go through the new parts. So let's start with cases because actually we're gonna get this blue screening computer out of here. I built this in uh, the last video. I think we did in the free build in a uh, free build mode. Maybe I can't remember. Uh, but let's look at cases because we're gonna kind of build as we go through some of the parts, because I think it's more fun. So let's scroll all the way down to the bottom like we always do, and that's where we get to all the newest things that were added in the game. Um, and let's just dive in. So already you can see the Inwin 925 is a new full tower, which is really cool. I'm not familiar with that case at all, but I'm excited to build with it. Looks cool. We don't have a ton of full towers, so I'll always take them. Uh, we did get new versions, new variants of the Fractal Design Define 7, That the, it's the compact. So these are all just mid towers, uh, standard ATX, up to standard ATX mid towers. We've got them with tempered glass. Uh, I think there's a grill on the front of some of them. So they might have like a solid panel or a grill front panel, uh, but pretty cool. So we got a bunch more Fractal Design variants on top of all the ones that we got back in 1.12 with the Fractal Design Workshop as well. Um, and then the rest of our cases are all from Cooler Master. So we've got the Cooler Master Silencio S600. So pretty standard looking mid tower, nothing too fancy. We've got versions with solid panels, window, uh, oh, S400 as well. Is the, oh, S400 is a micro, cool, okay, nice. I will always take uh, new small form factor cases. And then the big exciting thing that we have that was on the front, uh, that was on the front, uh, on the home screen, what am I saying? Uh, is the Cooler Master Master Frame 700, and it has two modes. The bench mode, so like a test bench, or the showcase mode. So basically, if you got this case in real life, you could build it, and you could turn it between showcase mode and bench mode. Now, what I'm curious to see is if in the game, if it's in showcase mode, can I transform it on the fly, or do I have to rebuild it? in bench mode or something like that. So that's really interesting. I think we're gonna, I'm gonna build it, I'm gonna build it in bench mode and then we're just gonna see how it works. So here it is, oh, it's so interesting. So this is a, I guess, sort of the product of like a collaboration between Cooler Master and the, the folks at PC Building Simulator. Um, but yeah, it's, a, it's pretty interesting. So I don't, I'm really not feeling like this is gonna be something you can transform. Though it should be, cause that would be awesome. Like. I want to be able to transform it. Can I, can I transform it? That would be so cool. Why can't I just stand it up and use it? Like you have to completely rebuild it. I don't know. Uh, interesting. Okay. Well, let's just keep going. Let's look at some of the new motherboards that we got in the game. Cause we actually got quite a few. Most of them 
Um, we've got quite a few Z590 boards. What's exciting though is for the first time in a while we've got new boards from NZXT, which is cool because I just did a, I just did a video where I was like, I'm pretty sure NZXT has new boards, but you know I haven't seen them in a while because um, we we're still on like Z we are still on like Z390 boards. I think we're the newest board. So now we got Z590, we've got B550 boards. So our first. Uh, NZXT AMD boards, which is pretty cool. So we got the NZXT, uh, we got the N7, the Z590 in black and in white, and then also black and white for their B550 boards. Um, we've also got, so we know that in 1.12 we got our first, we got our first motherboard with a full water block to cool the CPU and all the chipsets, the VRM, all that. That was our first first one ever in the game. It was the one from MSI. Uh, this one right here, the Z590 Carbon EKX. Well, now we've got two more. We've got a Z490 from Aorus, and we've got a Z590 from Aorus. So that's pretty exciting. Pretty awesome. Pretty pumped. Excited to build with those. Uh, we've also got Z590 Aorus Ultra. We've got Z490 Aorus Extreme. Z590 Vision G. A Z590i Mini ITX Vision D. That's exciting. Is that our first small form factor z590 i think it might be am i making that up z490 i don't think we have a z590 small form factor so that is i think our first i could be wrong but i think that's right this z590 vision g is very interesting looking so we've got a bunch of new cool boards good stuff can't you're never gonna complain about motherboards and i'm excited to build with these with the full water box so we're not gonna build them today but be sure to be on the lookout because i'm sure i'll be building with them very soon but today let's just use uh let's use one of these new NZXT boards. Let's go with the Z590 in black. It's gonna look black, extremely black. Yikes, that's that is so black, wow. Uh, we've got what, two M.2 slots on this board. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Nice, such an interesting design uh, from NZXT, but that is great, I mean, that's just all black. You gotta love kind of the the simple, clean look of NZXT's motherboards. Uh, all right, let's get CPUs in there. We do not have any new CPUs. There's not really much new to look at. Let's just throw an 11900K in there for fun. Uh, we do have new memory to check out. So let's open up some dim slots and then let's take a look at the new memory that's been added to the game down here we've got this was the stuff that was on the uh start screen colorful is now making memory uh making ram for the game so we got the iGame vulcan 8 gig 42 66 megahertz or 3600 megahertz you've also got their cvn guardian in 2066 eh, 3200 eh, you know not so bad uh, and 8 gig 60 and 16 gig versions of both of those so the exciting one here is 4266 uh, pretty fast, but it's kind of cool to get new options. So and I, I've got to say it's a very unique looking RAM, a nice new um, color option that we really don't get from anything else. It's not the fastest still, because I think the 4800 megahertz G skill Triton Z is still the fastest RAM. So as far as overclocking, uh, no, no real new implications here, but we're going to go ahead and throw this in here to completely contrast with our black motherboard. And it does look like it's got an RGB uh, LED element here on the front side, the top side of the RAM, top, front, you know, I don't know, something. Uh, let's get thermal paste on here. We don't have any new coolers. So we've been getting a lot of new like AIOs and whatnot, but we don't have any new AIOs this time. I am going to just run a custom water loop on this so we can kind of check out the case and see what sort of radiator options we have. So let's just get a CPU block on here. I'm not too concerned. Let's just go all black from EK. That black really does not match, does it? That's very black and that's kind of gray now. Wow, interesting. Uh, okay, cool. Let's keep going. We've got no new storage, but let's just get a little bit of storage in here. Let's just throw an M.2 drive in here to make things boot and be happy. Uh, and then I'm gonna take a long time to put it in here. I like the Viper stuff. It's PCIe uh, Gen 4. And yeah, it's really fast, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's fine. Okay, um, so we've gone through cases, we've gone through motherboards, we've talked about RAM, we've got some new graphics cards, we've got new, we've got one new water-cooled graphics card, which I think, let's actually, we're gonna, we're gonna use the water-cooled graphics card that's brand new, but first let's go through the new water, uh, let's go through the, all the new graphics card options that are not water-cooled. So, start at the bottom, we've got Zotac 30 series cards for the first time, I believe, right, is that correct? 
We had um, 20 series, 10 series from them, but this is the first 30 series, yes. So we've now got a 3070, a 30, two 3070s. Oh, cool, another more white graphics cards, yes! Oh, we always need more white graphics cards, that's awesome. So we got two 3070s, small little uh, compact graphics cards, and then we've got 3080 and a 3080 Ti. Oh, is this our first 3080 Ti? <gasps> it is. This is our first 3080 Ti. 3080 Ti. Cool. Wait, they're both 3080 Ti's. Wait, what? Wait, what? No, this is not a 3080 Ti. But for some reason, the search is like, yes. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Okay, cool. That's awesome. So we've got our first Zotac 30 series. We've got our first RTX 3080 Ti. Very exciting. We've got more white graphics cards. That's so cool. I love it. Um, we've got an RTX 2080 Super, a compact blower fan from uh, MSI. We've got uh, Colorful's 3070, interesting. Who, Azrox, kinda super ugly uh, RX 6800 XT. We've actually got a bunch of new uh, RX 6800, 6800 XT, 6900 XT, and I think our first 6700 XT? Yes, cool. Okay, a bunch of these are gonna be the Azrock ones, which I am not really loving the look of those, but 6800 XT, 6800, 6800 XT, 6700 XT, and a 6900 XT. So there you go. We already had this 3070 from MSI, I believe. Yes. Yes. Cool. Okay, so those are the new graphics cards. Bunch of new uh, RX 6000 series cards from Azrock. We've got 3070 from Colorful, this blower uh, 2080 Super coming out of nowhere from MSI. It's kind of interesting. And then these new Zotac cards, which are really exciting. Let's throw the 3080 Ti in because it's black. It fits with our build. And, uh, well, it's it's new. It's so exciting. I got to take out these. Apparently, I got to take out these little thumb screws, and then we should be good. Zotac. Oh, man. Wrong one. One more try. Good. Good. All right. Wow, look at that. That's sweet. I actually like how Zotax cards look for the most part. Uh, they're cooler extending way past the PCB is, you know, yeah. But I mean, it, 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 they actually look pretty good for kind of getting a bad rap sometimes. They actually look pretty good. Uh, okay, there's our 28 Ti, or th what, th what, 38 Ti. Uh, it's funny because I remove those screws but then they, they go back in. Anyway, um, cool, nice. Uh, actually, wait, what am I doing? We're not gonna use this because I wanna use the water-cooled graphics card. Ah, no, I don't. We're gonna leave this in. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna just see what the radiator configuration looks like. <gasps> Open panel. Wait, does it transform? Please, transform. No, I think that's it. What is the point of that? Funny. I'm sorry. I'm so distracted. This is just like such a such a fascinating case. Okay, let's see what our uh, let's see what our water cooling options look like. But let's first. Okay, let's look at that water cool GP, GPU really quick. Uh, oh, it doesn't fit. Wait, what? Oh, because I have a graphics card in the way. <laughs> it is a, another Zotac card, an RTX 3090 Arctic Storm. So it's their water-cooled 3090, which is pretty cool. Oh, this <laughs> it doesn't support SLI. That's fine. Uh, wow, that's interesting. The motherboard doesn't support SLI. Interesting. Uh, okay. Reservoir. Let's get one in. We got no new reservoirs. We got no new radiators. We got no new, no new like water cooling gear other than that water cooled RTX 3090. Let's get a reservoir in here. I'm very interested to see where this is going to mount. Oh dear, that's really. I don't feel like those are running into each other. Okay, let's something a little more compact. That's that's probably worse. Okay, that will work. So let's. Oh, what? That's not hitting. No, no, that's hitting. No, no, it, it, it is definitely hitting. Okay, fine, 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 this one. Okay, so that goes right there, interesting. I really just wish there were cases that had more than one like reservoir mounting point. There are very, very few. Uh, let's see what we can do with our radiators here. Uh, let's just check out a 360 rad. So those are gonna mount on these panels. So I assume we're gonna have to open the panels to install a radiator and then what can i lower the panel at this point no so if we want radiators on them we have to keep them up interesting this is very very fascinating this is gonna be a lot of liquid cooling for our cpu but that's okay uh we're just gonna do flexible tubing here 
and I'm gonna do green fittings because I'm feeling obnoxious. And we're just gonna run this together really quick. And we're gonna hide that. Oh, I can't hide the interface and still do it. That's too bad. That's too bad. Okay, yep. And this is gonna come back over here. There you go. Wow, really? That's that's the best you had, huh? We're just gonna run, what, what, what even was that? Okay, really, really, seriously? No, there is definitely a route for flexible pipe. You're just not trying very hard. You could do this, bud. You can do it. Really? Why? Okay, well, that's uh, pretty, pretty annoying. How about this one? Okay, wow. Usually it's better than that. I'm kind of surprised. We have all this room with an open chassis and it's just, nope. Okay, coolant, let's just throw, uh, you know what, we're doing the green thing. Let's, let's do, let's do green opaque. Oh, pump that power. Well, that's fair. We don't even have a power supply in this computer. <laughs> uh, we've got no new power supplies. Uh, we do have some new case fans, though. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to put a case fan on this. It doesn't really make a ton of sense. Let's do 1300 watt from Antec. That was, I, did, I think, introduced in 1.12. Uh, let's stick with our green. There's lime or there's braided plain green. Yeah, that'll work. Actually matches pretty well. Only got two uh, eight pin power plugs on the Zotac 3080 Ti. Some have three, I think, for the 3080 and 3080 Ti, but not Zotac, and that's not a big deal. Uh, okay, so now we can put our coolant in. Clint, good, clear, oh no, 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 I want opaque green, opaque green, yeah, that looks all right, okay, cool, uh, what else, we've looked at GPUs, uh, we've got new monitors, well that's filling, we can check them out, so if we go in here, we're gonna get rid of green, we've got three new monitors, all from Acer, so we've got, uh, we already had the XB273U, now we have the XB253Q, the 273 UGS <laughs> and the uh, XB 273 GX. Those are all new monitors from Acer. Let's check out this uh, 273 UGS, maybe. How's that look? You know, it looks like a monitor and it's not too bad. Uh, that's the only peripheral stuff we have. So I think the only thing we haven't covered is case fans, which again, I don't know. Does this even support case fans? Let's see. Uh, the new case fans that we have though, are from Fractal Design. Cool white fans, solid white fans. I'll, you know, I'll take that, it's not bad. Uh, not bad, that's not too bad. Cooler Master, Silencio, they're 120 mil fans. You know, not, not a whole lot to get super excited about there. Uh, and then the XBG Vento from A Data is new. RGB fan, you know, not much, not, not too much there. Uh, that should be all the parts. I guess let's just, let's see if we can actually put any of these on. I don't really think this is, I don't think it really supports case fans because we, yeah, no, no. This is this is not a case that needs case fans. So there you go, uh, let's power it on. We should be good to go. It's, uh, it's it's looking a little a little iffy here as far as color goes, but we could fix that with a little bit of work on the RGB. Um, but that's everything new in 1.13, all the new parts that are included. Um, so yeah, some pretty cool stuff. This case is particularly interesting. Of course, I do wish that we could like prop it up and put it in the other mode. Uh, I, I can't seem to find a way to do that. I could be missing it. Maybe it's a thing we can do. Let me know if that's a thing and I missed it. Um, but uh, yeah, some cool stuff in 1.13. And really the most exciting thing here uh, in 1.13 is the IT expansion for free. So super awesome that we're getting that for free. I think that's a really cool service to fans. Getting the game on Epic Games for free just a little while ago, and now you can play the IT expansion for free. So if you want to check that out, be sure to check out my other video, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, and you want to see more videos of PC Building Simulator or any other games I've been playing, be sure to subscribe. And either way, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. See ya.